Okay, uh, day 2005, this is version 6. Uh, sorry, I got a little, showed a little of emotion in that last one. Uh, I, I meant to say Al Qaeda in Iraq and Taliban in, um, Taliban in uh, Pakistan, uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, so, just a correction there. Uh, but, so, here's why I, I said the French today. It wasn't to be condemned for my poor French or anything like that. It was to get French words in the metadata. Um, because I'm hoping to get hits from that, uh, from overseas. Now, what I really was trying to do was show everyone how much I need your help um, in translating the versions. Because, and here's why I think French is the key. French is the international language of the European Union, other than Europe, uh, other than English, excuse me. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of people that are on a totally different channel. And I'm talking mainly journalists and bloggers and so forth, but mainly journalists that just don't, aren't in this crucible. They're not in this fake news cycle thing. And I know CNN is international and so forth, but believe me, there, there are really free thinking people that are overseas, but there's that initial resistance because uh, they just turn off English news channels. They turn, they wouldn't ever consider picking up an American blogger, for instance. But if they know that they're getting intelligence from this network, from value-added search, as well as some tidbits we're getting uh, from law enforcement and also the intelligence community, they'll start picking up on that. They all have been, the, the uh, CIA and the FBI have shared in peanut butter the intelligence ac across the network, believe me, uh, and they've pushed it out. But they don't have that same coercive power that they had two days ago when Comey was in. When Comey was in, there was still that coercive power, just like JTF, J, JTTF here, for our local and state police departments, as well as our federal agencies. The same kind of coercive red teams exist, only worse, overseas. We have some civil rights left here, but it's worse overseas, and they're really in fear. Uh, a lot of it's through NATO, a lot of it's through a lot of other different type, Gladio type things, but I won't go into how they do the coercion. But, um, They've had it worse for longer, I guess is what I'm trying to say, especially in the NATO countries. And the way to get to NATO is, is through, through French, I believe. We have English already, but what I'm saying is I would, if there are Francophones out there that would like to translate some of the metadata, the uh, cliff notes that have already been done uh, by, I um, can't remember his name right now, oh gosh, uh, body snatch or something. I can't. 9/11 body snatch. I don't know. But anyway, he's a great guy. He's just an incredible um, programmer. Um, that will help us be found in the search engines. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and we'll get picked up hopefully in the European news. Now I know we have RT U UK uh, with Heather, and that's great. Uh, but I would like to get, you know, uh, all the the French and the uh, Belgian uh, publications and so forth because what's going to happen is there's going to be a French intelligence analyst looking at something looking at one of McCabe's rat lines and go and he's going to go why do I want to protect this what what why do I need to be a part of this rat line here McCabe's going to be out in a couple of days they're going to have a new intelligence director uh, new FBI director why why do I have to persist in this and that's going to change everything because we've been under this 37 year cloud uh, and the, the people in the intelligence community have been in this thing so long that they're the fish in the water they don't even see the water they just think that's the way it is they don't the constitution what are you talking about and it's never brought up so that's what I'm trying to get to back to uh, some reasonable people overseas as well as adding pressure internally here with law enforcement and intelligence thanks